everything that does not work and it continues and remains so they are powered by altars it's time to deal with it is someone ready tonight the first thing we are going to do right now please listen no distraction please don't allow the devil distract you we are working with time in the next two or three minutes you are going to cry a, we are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before god don't be too proud oh you are going to cry before the god of it you don't have to lie down or whatever whatever position is comfortable not as an act of condemnation genuinely before the god of heaven and say lord i am standing in repentance if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance Shabalakatos. those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god give me psalm 51 while you are praying i'm going to be reading for you psalm 51 please give us psalm 51 while we pray have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression verse 2 please hurry up wash me thoroughly from my iniquity cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgression my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in your sight verse 4 that thou mightest be justified please give us verse 4 we're not done when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest verse 5 behold i was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part shalt thou make me to know wisdom uh-huh purge me with high soap and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities verse 10 create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from your presence take not thy holy spirit from me verse 12 restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and behold me with this and uphold me with a free spirit then i will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O lord open thou my lips and my mouth shall speak forth your praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would have given it thou desirest not in bond offering thou delightest not in bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit and a contrite heart O god thou shalt not despise next verse do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build out the walls of jerusalem 
someone is praying then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness mercy mercy in the name of jesus mercy we come boldly to the throne of grace we obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need mercy for nigeria mercy for our regions mercy for koinonia mercy for every family here mercy for every business mercy for every captain of industry every politician every head of parliament every professional mercy for our children mercy for those who have gone ahead of us in the name of jesus prayer point number two as for me and my house lord i agree with you this day that i will serve the lord no other name no other god no other force no other influence someone is praying please pray whether you come from lagos whether you come from plateau state from kaduna state from maiduguri from enugu anambra cross river port Harcourt, it does not matter whether you are from the f city lord as for me and my house i dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols someone is praying i dissociate myself from the worship of deities fraternities with gods that are not the true god i declare that as for me and my family i worship the one true god jesus the son of the living god it doesn't matter what shrine you went to it doesn't matter what the fathers did lord we pray as a nation lord we pray as a region as for me and my house as for me and this ministry someone pray as for me and my children pray as for me and my wife as for me and my husband as for me and my corporation outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for jesus we will serve the lord pastors pray as for me and the vision god has given me no consulting mediums no consulting powers no consulting shrines it is jesus only jesus ever jesus only jesus ever as the source of power as the source of revelation as the source of illumination no bribery no corruption shabranda gebalaka tosko to predeketola sedia embrakata pa kote sabarikate pastors pray no manipulating members sincerity of truth loving them and serving them
in the name of Jesus now don't be tired we're still praying right now on legal basis you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life the blood is against it he said we overcame them by the blood of the lamb someone open your mouth and begin to decree in the name of Jesus the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death pray you know what altars by the patterns in your life call it by name and curse it by the God of heaven operations of poverty operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that everything you do seems to fail of the throne of grace I come by the backing of the throne of grace someone pray a new order is imagined from you tonight your children will thank you your children's children will thank you they will say at what point did this transformation start and you will tell them when i found the revelation of the mystery of altars someone prophesied my father may have died early my mother may have died early but i will not die early i will not die on timely death in the name of jesus i am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of jesus pray graduate from the families no job no lifting pray people don't get married or they get married and the homes don't stay barrenness repetitive patterns failures in business someone pray the operation of these altars come to an end from lagos to abuja to maiduguri to kaduna state to rivers to cross river to Kogi state i don't care how long they have lasted lord we pray someone pray enough is enough in the name of jesus someone pray enough is enough enough is enough we are bringing a new order pray for your family enough is enough enough is enough of children becoming useless enough is enough of people never finishing what they start enough is enough in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please listen to me in the name of Jesus when I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry, I said minus me, but I knew that it would not just be empty talk. You see, let me tell you something about altars. They don't care whether you are a pastor they don't care whether you are whatever once there is no compliance you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen I made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region 
and keeps them at a particular level that it will be my lifetime i will rewrite that narrative you're going to pray one more prayer before i speak over it. please don't be tired you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory i connect you to the throne of grace go ahead and pray my destiny and my glory you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace my destiny and my glory you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar please pray you are not wasting your time connect your business by faith in the son of the living god not as a blind ritual no let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am no longer connected to ancestry someone is praying let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward i am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward connected to the throne of grace let it be known to principalities and powers let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of god's dear son hallelujah praise the name of the lord hear me my dear people everyone is destined by christ to rise there is nobody who is destined to remain down please place your right hand on your head prophetically you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head i will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about i lay me down and i slept i wait for the lord sustains me but thou O oh lord had a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head Hallelujah.